Good morning. Knife defence. Massive, massive subject. Very emotive subject as well. Lots of arguments, who's right and who's wrong. Let's just go through some attribute training, okay? We're gonna pick one attack, which is a thrust, so an angle five to my abdomen. Very first thing we need to do is angle off. Said that you can always tell a weapons fighter by the way he angles off. So as Andy comes in with a thrust, I need to get this hip out of the way. Angle off, okay? First rule of defense, don't be there. Second thing is to cover, palm up. If you have a look at that uh, video on Patel, later on you'll see why this is utilized. So angle off, cover. Now, and you can just stop here, across to the low line, blue well, just fall out, lovely. So I need to cover that, one, two. This can look like an X block here, but it is, one turn. So rather than being fixed in position here, one turn. Just in case he moves and I need to angle off. One turn. For a little bit more self-defense, if you really want to drill this, we pad up, okay, and this will start to be built in, I'll be hitting on the high line or into the collarbone, which helps with the repeated thrusting. I can't stop that here. It'd be here or here. For the purpose of this drill, then an angle off, cover. One, two. Now it's important that I disarm, disarm the person, not the knife. So I'm not knife hunting here. Okay? Before he has time to stab me again, I need to clamp down on his hand. Here. One, two. Clamp down on his hand. Use the bottom hand to turn this over. And I'm going to angle off. And by angling off and coming to my opposite side, you can see this is straightened out and his arm out nicely. I'm putting me in a rather vulnerable position. Okay? Bargaining position. Okay? It's up to him now what happens next. One, two, angle off. You'll notice here I've clamped his hand. Okay? You will see videos, stand up please Andy, where as this comes across, this happens and it looks wonderful. His mate now picks that up and sticks it in me. If it does happen, and you're able to put your foot on it, then do so. But for me personally, what I like to do is look to disable the person. The other advantage here is if I've just got his wrist, here for example, and he can just take the knife the opposite hand and stick it in me. If I've got his hand, he can't. I have him and the knife. One, two, angle off. I have him and the knife. Now I can disarm Andy, not the knife. I can strip out, I can pull the thumb here, stick out here. One more, a little bit quicker. Angle off, I've got him. I can strip the knife out, okay? Or I can just use it as part of the If he tries to draw his arm in, return to send drill. Foot pin if you can get it. So very quickly, a few points. First thing, angle off. Second thing, Cover, high and low line. Third thing, get control, angle off. Okay? Stop the knife being taken. Bargaining position, it's up to Andy now. Okay? Back off! Sorry, Andy. Use your voice, powerful tool. Okay? Then I have a strip out here, should I so need it. I don't have to stick it in. Okay? That's a prison sentence. But I can use it as a controlling measure. Okay, <laughs> 